Hi, let's see how to fix the sims 4 rent not working. Are you facing the issues with the sims 4 for the rent expansion pack not working or as expected? Don't worry, in this particular video, we'll see how we can fix it. So let's see how to fix the sims 4 for rent not working. The first method is check the order processing. Sometimes the issue might be with the order processing. If you have just purchased the pack, it can take a while for the transaction to process and for the content to become available for the download. If this might be the case, give it some time and then check again. The second method is clear the caches for your device. Always try to clear the cookies and caches for your device. If you are using a Windows, click the three dashes on the far left corner. Click on scroll down to the help and select App recovery, choose the clear caches. For PlayStation 4 and 4, turn off the PlayStation by holding the power button until you hear the beep. Unplug that for 2 minutes, then plug it back again and then restart. For Xbox Series and Xbox One, hold the power button to turn off the console. Unplug the power cable and then press the power button a few times. Reconnect the power cable and turn the Xbox on. And for the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, open the system settings, select the system and formatting option, choose the clear caches and then select user. And the third method is search for the EP15 folder. The EP15 folder is related to the foreign pack. If you are having a trouble, you can check your games directory and ensure it's existed and it's not corrupted. If it is missing or corrupted, it could be causing the issue. Navigate to the documents and open the electronic arts, go to the sims board, look for the ep15 folder within the directory. If the ep15 directory is missing, now the file inside them is corrupted. This indicates the issue could be for the rent pack not work correctly. The fourth method is check for the file conflicts, conflicts with the other files, particularly mods or the custom content can sometimes cause the issues with the game, new game packs. Disable any mods or the custom content and see if the pack works without them. If it does, you will need to update or remove the conflicting files. Open the Sims 4 molder, move all the mode and custom content files to temporary folder outside the Sims 4 directory. Start the game to see if the issue resolves without these files. If the if it is resolved, reintroduce the mods one by one to identify the conflict. The fifth method is clear. Like clean folder sometimes a issue you are encountering with the sims 4 can stem from the deep within the game directory where the corrupted files or the conflicting modification can hinder the game performance in such cases creating a new and the clean folder for the game can act as a reset stripping away from the potential problem and giving you the fresh start while preserving your original game data close the sims 4 game navigate to this particular path Drag the Sims4 folder to your desktop and launch the Sims4 to generate the new folder. The sixth method is rename the Sims4 folder. The simple and effective troubleshooting step is to rename the games folder. This action forces the game to create and uh, new clean the new folder when it starts up, which eliminates the issues caused by the corrupted files or settings without permanently deleting your saved games or the custom content. The sixth method is repair the Sims 4. If the Sims 4 is not working as expected, it may be due to the corrupted or the incomplete game files. Fortunately, the digital distribution platform like the Origin and the EA Help Desk app offer the feature to repair the game files. This process scans the and replaces any damaged or the missing files without. Uh, in order to repair the game in Origin, open the Origin client, My Game Library, right click on the Sims 4. Select the repair game. Repair game in EA Desktop app. Open the EA Desktop app. Navigate to the My Collection, the system, Sims 4 settings, and then repair. Finally, you can click on repair. The seventh method is contact the Sims 4 support team. If you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you are still facing the problem, you can contact the Sims 4 support team for further assistance. They are the expertise. They will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the better solution. Okay. So that's all about this. Thank you.